Hello. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, I'll show you how the remesh modifier works. This modifier is used to rebuild your mesh topology using quads. We have such a text mesh. Let's enable wireframe mode. As you have noticed, there are lots of ugly triangle faces. We want to generate better topology with quads. So, let's add remesh modifier. There are four modes in the remesh modifier. Let's firstly go over the sharp mode. Sharp mode preserves sharp edges and corners. Now, we will increase octree depth. This is going to increase the amount of detail. Then, let's disable remove disconnected option. If this option is enabled, thin parts of the mesh can become loose. In this case, you can decrease trace hold value. So, we will get them back. As you can see, our triangular faces have been replaced by a pretty and equal quads. Scale value is size of the faces in the grid. Lower values effectively decrease the output resolution. Higher sharpness values produce edges more similar to the input. For smooth shading, enable this option. Let's turn the viewport shading on. Here we go. The smooth mode is similar to the sharp mode, but it makes smooth edges and corners. The blocks mode creates blocky surfaces. It is kind of 3D pixels. The voxel mode uses an open VDB to generate a new manifold mesh from the current geometry while trying to preserve the mesh's original volume. Adaptivity reduces the final face count by simplifying geometry where detail is not needed. Remesh modifier can be very useful before applying build and explode modifiers. Because these modifiers work based on the mesh topology. Let's duplicate our mesh text. Remove remesh modifier from the duplicated one. Then, add build modifier both. and press space key and start animation. There we go. So you can see how it's building up much differently, the top mesh is building up triangle by triangle and the bottom mesh is building up square by square. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.